Yep, we've got our eyes on Offbeat America. Next stop, Northfield, Minnesota. One look at this home and you may notice it's staring right back at you. In this small Minnesota lake town, you won't believe what you're about to see. Or what sees you. The most unique house on the block. Joe Reeder and Sandra Volker invite you for a close look at a one-of-a-kind ball. Welcome to the eyeball house. We love it. An eyeball. But don't call this great big round house a dome. This is not a dome home. Some people look at the house from the outside and they go, oh, just another dome house. It's a monolithic sphere. It's actually a full round ball. There's not another home on earth built the exact same way. Beneath the eyelid at the top of the fourth level lies the master bedroom. Ooh, we get a workout in this place. Instead of a regular rectangular mirror, they have small round mirrors. There's a round closet. It's uh, what I call a lazy Susan closet. Curved walls, windows, and doors. And a round hallway and a round house. Imagine. Yep. Of course, with rounded walls, you have to position the furniture just right. And the reason why the bed is here versus any place else is because it's the only place where you can sit up in bed and not bonk your head. <laughs> <laughs> Displaying artwork, however, is another challenge. It gives a whole new meaning to hanging artwork. The only thing you can really get in a wall is puzzles. You put a puzzle on the wall and you can curve it to the shape and that works pretty well. Besides the curve, it's not easy to pound nails into concrete. The house is made almost entirely of cement. The only framework you see is what's sort of holding this huge opening, which is the eyeball. The, the lens of the <laughs> eye, we like to call it. The lens is made up of 39 windows. It's like climbing a jungle gym just to wash these babies. We we'll only have 38 more to go. There's even an eyelid that helps shade the sun. But they love the light for one big reason. And I'm talking big. This is a uh, 23 and a half foot tall grapefruit tree. It was born and raised in this house entirely. That's because part of the floor is actually soil. It's just a big overgrown house plant. Sandra's not big on the sour fruit, but her kids love the taste. I found recipes for grapefruit pie, so I'm trying to be flexible on this grapefruit thing. Look closely. The couple plays up the theme. Keep an eye on the kids. They love to play hide and seek. And watch out below. There's even a mini eyeball blimp flying around the house. I didn't like those cookie cutter houses. I wanted something crazy and unique. Sandra got just what she was looking for. An eyeball that keeps an eye on itself. The eyeball is watching. <laughs> what are you, what are you looking, looking at? at? <laughs> Did you know the eyeball house is energy efficient too? The monthly heating bill averages $75 compared to $250 for a house that size. Here's a hard shot, hitting the basket from the garden level. I don't think you can do it. No. Oh, blockage. <laughs> okay, one more shot. Yes! 